Dorothy Palmer, a lifelong Vancouver Canucks fan, turned 105 years old. This remarkable milestone was celebrated with great joy and admiration by her family and friends. It was a milestone few achieve. Reaching such an age is a testament to resilience, strength, and a life filled with rich experiences. It was a testament to a life well lived. Dorothy's journey through the decades has been nothing short of extraordinary. Dorothy had seen it all. Through wars and peace, through triumphs and heartbreaks, she witnessed the world transform in ways unimaginable. One thing remained constant, her love for the Canucks. This unwavering passion was a cornerstone of her identity. Her passion for the team began in her youth. As a young girl, she found solace and excitement in the world of hockey. It blossomed during the early years of the franchise. The Canucks became more than just a team. They were a symbol of hope and community. Now, a century later, her dedication burned brighter than ever. Dorothy's enthusiasm for the Canucks never waned, even as the years passed. Dorothy's love for the Canucks was not just about hockey. It was about community. It was about belonging. The team represented a shared passion that brought people together. It was about the enduring power of something bigger than oneself. The Canucks were a beacon of unity and pride for Dorothy and countless others. On this day, her 105th birthday, the celebration was not just about her age, but about the legacy she had built. Dorothy was surrounded by loved ones. They shared stories. They laughed. The room was filled with warmth and love, a reflection of the life she had lived. They reminisced about a life adorned with Canucks memories. From thrilling victories to heartbreaking losses, every moment was cherished. Little did Dorothy know, this birthday held an extraordinary surprise. A surprise that would make this day unforgettable. It was a surprise that would elevate her fandom to legendary status. A moment that would be etched in her memory forever. It would forever link her with the team she held so dear. The Canucks had become an integral part of her life, and this surprise was the perfect tribute to her unwavering loyalty. The room buzzed with excitement. The air was filled with laughter, chatter, and the clinking of glasses. It was a day everyone had been looking forward to for weeks. It was Dorothy's birthday party. Family and friends gathered from near and far, filling the room with warmth and joy. The decorations were vibrant and the atmosphere was electric. They showered her with love and gifts. Each present was carefully chosen, reflecting the deep affection everyone had for Dorothy. There were hugs, tears, and heartfelt moments that made the day unforgettable. Then a special gift arrived. It was unlike any other, wrapped in a way that hinted at something extraordinary inside. It was a present that silenced the room. Everyone's eyes were on Dorothy as she carefully unwrapped the mysterious package. It was a gift that made Dorothy's heart skip a beat. Her eyes widened and a tear rolled down her cheek as she realized what it was. It was a custom Canucks jersey. The room erupted in cheers and applause as Dorothy held it up for everyone to see. It was a crisp blue and green, just like the ones her beloved team wore. The colors were vibrant and the fabric felt luxurious to the touch. But this jersey was different. It wasn't just any jersey. It was personalized in a way that made it truly one of a kind. It had the number 105 on the back, Dorothy's age, a milestone that deserved to be celebrated in a grand way. Embroidered below the number was her name, Palmer. The stitching was impeccable, and it added a personal touch that made the jersey even more special. This was more than a jersey. It was a tribute, a symbol of her lifelong passion and unwavering support for the Canucks. It was a symbol of her unwavering dedication, a testament to the countless games she had watched, the cheers, the tears, and the memories she had made over the years. Along with the jersey, there was a personalized message, a note that added an extra layer of sentiment to the already emotional moment. It was from the Canucks captain himself, Quinn Hughes. The message was heartfelt and sincere, reflecting the respect and admiration he had for Dorothy. He expressed his admiration for Dorothy's dedication. He spoke of her unwavering support and how it had not gone unnoticed by the team. He wished her a happy birthday. His words were filled with warmth and genuine affection, making the moment even more special for Dorothy. He invited her to meet him at the Canucks training camp in Penticton, an opportunity that was as rare as it was exciting. It was an invitation of a lifetime, a chance for Dorothy to meet her heroes and see them up close, something she had always dreamed of. It was an offer Dorothy couldn't refuse. Her eyes sparkled with joy and her heart swelled with gratitude. This was a day she would never forget, a moment that would be etched in her memory forever. 
The journey to Penticton was more than a road trip. It was a pilgrimage. Dorothy, her family, and some close friends embarked on the adventure. Excitement filled the air as they drove. They shared stories, they laughed, they sang along to old Canucks fight songs. Dorothy couldn't believe this was happening. Meeting Quinn Hughes, at her age, it was a dream come true. She had watched Hughes on television. She had admired his skill. She had cheered for him from her living room. And now, she was going to meet him in person. As they got closer to Penticton, Dorothy felt a surge of anticipation. She clutched her Canucks blanket. She smiled. She was about to meet her hockey hero. This was more than a meeting. It was a testament to the power of sports to bridge generations. It was a reminder that age is just a number when it comes to passion. Section 4. Face to Face with Hughes. A dream realized. The moment arrived. Dorothy, supported by her loved ones, entered the Canucks training facility in Penticton. Her eyes scanned the room. She was looking for Hughes. Her heart pounded with anticipation. And then, there he was. Quinn Hughes, the captain. He was taller than she imagined. He had a warm smile. He approached Dorothy with genuine kindness. He knelt before her. He took her hand in his. He looked into her eyes. Happy birthday, Dorothy, he said. It's an honor to meet you. Dorothy was speechless. Tears welled up in her eyes. She couldn't believe this was happening. She was face to face with her hockey hero. You, you're even more handsome in person, she finally stammered, causing everyone around them to erupt in laughter. Hughes chuckled. You're not so bad yourself, Dorothy, he replied. Section 5. A Captain's Kindness. The Autograph and Beyond. Quinn Hughes spent time with Dorothy. He listened to her stories. He asked about her life. He shared some of his own experiences. He made her feel special. He made her feel seen. Then, Hughes took a pen from his pocket. He signed Dorothy's jersey. To Dorothy he wrote, Thank you for your incredible support. You are an inspiration. Quinn Hughes. Dorothy's heart soared. This was more than an autograph. It was a connection. Hughes didn't just sign the jersey. He went above and beyond. He chatted with Dorothy. He posed for photos. He made sure she felt loved and appreciated. He understood the impact he had on her. He embraced the opportunity to brighten her day, to make her 105th birthday truly unforgettable. Section 6, The Enduring Spirit of a Fan Dorothy's Legacy. Dorothy Palmer's story is about more than hockey. It's about a life lived with passion, dedication, and an unwavering love for the game. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of a fan. Dorothy's journey through the decades, cheering for her beloved Canucks, is a story of loyalty and resilience. It is a reminder that passion can burn brightly, no matter our age. Dorothy's enthusiasm for hockey never dimmed, even as the years went by. Dorothy's love for the Canucks spanned over a century. From the early days of the team to the modern era, she was there, cheering them on. It witnessed countless games, players, and moments. Each game was a new chapter in her life, filled with excitement and hope. Through it all, her dedication never wavered. Whether the team was winning or losing, Dorothy's support remained steadfast. Her story is an inspiration. It shows us that true fans stick with their team through thick and thin, finding joy in the journey itself. It shows us the importance of finding something we love and holding on to it. Dorothy's love for hockey was a constant in her life, a source of joy and connection. It teaches us that age is just a number. Dorothy's energy and enthusiasm were infectious, proving that you're never too old to be passionate about something. It highlights the power of community and belonging. Dorothy found a second family in the Canucks community, a group of people who shared her love for the game. Dorothy's legacy as a Canucks superfan will live on. Her story is a beacon of what it means to be a true fan, inspiring others to follow in her footsteps. Her story will continue to inspire generations of fans. Young and old alike will look to Dorothy's example and find the courage to pursue their own passions. Her passion will forever be a part of the Canucks fabric. The team and its fans will always remember Dorothy and her unwavering support. Dorothy's story reminds us that even in the twilight years, life can surprise us. It can bring unexpected joys and new connections. It can bring us joy. Dorothy found immense happiness in her love for hockey, a joy that radiated to those around her. It can connect us with others who share our passions. Dorothy's love for the Canucks brought her closer to a community of like-minded fans. Dorothy's 105th birthday was a celebration of life, love, and hockey. It was a testament to a life well-lived, 
filled with moments of joy and connection. It was a day she would never forget. Surrounded by family, friends, and fellow fans, Dorothy's birthday was a fitting tribute to her enduring spirit 